Yo, 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 what it do, what it do, what's happening, what's happening and all that, man. Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Ball here, Tay, a.k.a. Four Wings and Fries. Yeah, no condoms media. We in here. Come on down, slide them some walls, and keep it raw with me. No condoms where you going to feel everything. I need to really get me a, a, like a slogan and some shit to say before all these videos and shit. I still ain't got the shit. Maybe I ain't. Maybe I'm just going to keep on saying yo, 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 yo and all that shit. What it do, what it do. And welcome back to the channel because that's who the fuck I am. That's who the fuck I be. But anyway, welcome back to the channel, man. No comments, media. Yo, today I want to get into the uh, my top 20 greatest rappers of all time. Of all time, greatest rappers, you feel me? The top 20. I had the top 50, but I'm going to narrow it down to top 20. Because ain't nobody got time to really be dissecting 50 names. I'm really ain't going to dissect this 20, but I'm just going to give it to y'all. No particular order. Let me get that straight. Because, I look, that's a lot of breaking down to try to be giving everybody a slot. So, it ain't no particular order. I'm not going to start from 1. I'm not going to start from 20. I'm going to just throw these names out how I wrote them down. And I know y'all like, yo, hurry the fuck up with your list. All right, chill out. I got y'all, man. Tupac. Everybody know why I say Tupac. He one of the greatest rappers of all time. Poet. Activist. Hood nigga. Thug. All of that. Everything wrapped up in one. He did everything well. He can, he can make a, a record about shooting people. Then he can make a record about black unity and uplifting the community. He can make uh, Wonder Why you call, wonder why They Call You Bitch. And he can make uh, Dear Mama and uh, Keep Your Head Up. You feel me? So he, he was very versatile and he was, I think he was for the people and he was important to hip hop, man. Nas, come on, man. The man made Illmatic. The man made motherfucking Illmatic. That is a classic. That is the hip-hop Bible. Come on, man. The man made Illmatic. I ain't even gonna... Come on, man. It ain't hard to tell. One Love, New York State of Mind. Come on, man. All classic hip-hop shit, man. All classic hip-hop shit. Nas is one of the best lyricists that ever touched the microphone. And if you don't believe that, you suck dick. Flat out, you suck dick if you don't believe that. Biggie, rest in peace to Biggie, man. Biggie was like the best rapper. What I mean, rapper, he got the flow, he got styles, he got delivery. Even though he wasn't a looker, they say, like he was big, fat, black, and ugly and ever. However, he stayed cool G down to the socks. He stayed cool G down to the socks, so he had the look. He had the, he was the total package. He could rap about street shit. He could rap about girls. He could rap about poverty. He could rap about luxury. Like, Biggie was, like, the, the, the best rapper. You feel me? That's why he belongs on that list. Rest in peace to Chris. Chuck D, man. Chuck D from Public Enemy. Look, he was one of them first people that was, that was really kicking knowledge, that was really giving us the game in the music and really uplifting this and not had us on dumb shit and had us feeling like you know what I mean we kings and queens and we 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 need to fight the oppression we need to fight the power <laughs> you feel me like I said Chuck D but the whole public enemy the whole public enemy but Chuck D was the man Chuck D was the man he was like to me he wasn't even like a rapper he was like a a rapper like not uh, I said he wasn't even a rapper. A rapper, um, he was like a uh, like a motivational activist that rhymed on beats, hard beats. Chuck D, man, he belonged in there. Roxanne Shante, come on, man, that's one of the first first female rappers and the first battlers. Shit, shit, fuck you up. Shit, fuck you up. She a legend. She a legend, man. If you don't know Roxanne Sante, you need to do your research and understand who this woman is. I need to do my research as well. But I do know she one of the first ones. And she was young and shit when she came in the game. And she was busting people ass. And she wanted the pioneers from female rap and MCs. So, yeah, she damn well deserves to be on this list. MC Light is another one. 
she can stand in a circle with the dudes and ball you up. And ball you up. One of the first pioneers, the females coming in the game, hanging hanging with the big boys and holding their own weight. MC Light, one of them. And her shit wasn't light. She was heavy with it, heavy with the boss. A lot of dudes back then didn't even want to rap with her because she could rap better than some of the dudes. MC Light, man. Queen Latifah. I ain't got to say no more. You and I, T-Y. Yeah, Queen, Queen, Queen Latifah, man. She got to be on that. Representing for the ladies. She need to be on that. She's a hip-hop icon, legend, all that. She need to be on that. Fuck is you talking about, man? Even though she ain't done nothing, like, that don't even fucking matter. Queen Latifah is a legend, man. One of the greatest rappers of all time. Jay-Z, come on. Hov! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. One of the greatest. I'm not even one of the biggest Jay-Z fans. But I am a fan, none the least. But he one of the greatest rappers of all time, like. Lyrically, he, he came from he came from nothing. Started a label, and then that man just took off. Became a billionaire. Like, what is there to say about Jay? Like, Jay, one of the greatest lyrically, and from a business aspect. I think from a business aspect, he is the goat when it comes to business. And all around rapper like Jay Z might be the Michael Jordan of rap. He just might be that. Cool G rap, one of my favorites, man. Cause back in the day, in the eighties, early nineties, Cool G rap was one of the first ones who was really spitting high quality technical bars with hella multi syllable rhyme patterns and schemes and shit like that. G rap was doing it. He was like the first ones, one of the first ones that I heard, like doing punchlines and shit. Yeah, so like, G Rap got to be on the list. He, and he was like one of the first hardcore street rappers who was rapping like technical, like with heavy schemes and bars and, and like I said, multi syllable shit. G Rap was one of the first to do that. And he was one of the first, well, I ain't gonna say one of the first. He, he influenced. Some of my favorite rappers, you feel me? So, yeah. Snoop, Snoop Dogg, man. Snoop Dogg, probably the most famous rapper in the world. Everybody knows Snoop. Everybody loves Snoop. Fucking kids, old ladies, everybody loves Snoop. And everybody knows Snoop. Snoop can go anywhere in the world and be known. Now, I put Snoop on his list, not before, not because of his rap ability. I mean, yeah, he could rap, but I'm, you know, I'm a bar guy. I like, I like rapity rap shit. I like mostly all the Snoop shit, early shit, <laughs> but yeah. Snoop is the one, Snoop may be the most famous rapper to walk this planet. To where though everybody know who the fuck you are. Everybody knows who Snoop is. That's why he on this list. DMX, rest in peace. Rest in peace to the dog, man. Rest in peace to the dog, man. That's all I'm going to say. DMX had a hell of a story. Came in the game when everybody was doing shiny suit shit. Everybody was talking about cars and Rolls Royces and Bentleys and all this type of shit. He came in talking about pit bulls, bologna sandwiches, and robbing niggas, man. Damn. Type of shit that I was on. I was like, yeah, come on. Let, let, let's take it back to the streets. Everybody too fancy. Everybody pretty right now. Nobody give a fuck about this shit. Take it to the streets, man. X, rest in peace, bro. We love you. Yeah. Celebrate DMX Day, December 18th this year, too. DMX Day. I'm definitely going to drop a video for DMX. You already know, man. Man, his birthday is a day apart. His December 18th. Mine's is December 19th. I'm going to celebrate his day, and I'm going to celebrate on my birthday. Yeah. KRS-One, the teacher. That's all I got to say. The teacher. Educating the people. Keeping the substance in the music, some shit that you can learn from. Some shit that's going to elevate you. Some shit that's thought-provoking. Some shit that's going to make your mind free. 
Some shit that's going to captivate your attention other than some dumb shit. KRS want to teach you, man. Straight like that. One of the greatest of all times. Rakim. He's another one. He's another one with that bringing a rap style with like his his word placement. Like he would end three or four words at the end of the bar and then do that with the next bar as well. It's crazy. Rakim, like Rakim, he's one of the reasons why lyrics elevated in the 90s after his run was up. Rakim, Cool G, rap motherfuckers like that. And Big Daddy Kane, next on this list. They was the ones who who who, who, who took the shit further, who pushed the shit lyrically. It was like, we just not going to rap like this. I have to take a shit. Who is you? My shirt is blue. They said, nah, we just going to be rapidy, 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 rap, rap, rapidy, rap, rap. You feel me? So they the ones who was like the first ones to do that shit. So yeah, they pushed lyricism to a new level. Big Daddy Kane was like, he was like the first Ja Rule. Because Big Daddy Kane was spitting hard. And he was spitting that shit. And then he just went smooth operator. He went all the way over there to the ladies. But he was still giving you quality lyricism. But Kane to bust your ass on that mic as well. So don't act like he was just out there for the ladies. And he, he couldn't ball you up. Because Kane will fuck you up. If you don't know, you need to check out the symphony by the Juice Crew. That They gave that man the last verse for a reason, and they gave him more bars than everybody else, for a reason, Big Daddy Kane, man, he killed that shit, Ice Cube, come on, man, Ice Cube, write the rhymes that I say, yeah, Ice Cube, N.W.A., that's all I gotta say, legend, he wrote most of this shit, legend, pioneer for gangster rap, even though I should say that's Ice-T. Ice-T started that West Coast gangster shit. They give it to Cube, and they put him on the Mount Westmore and all that. But I really think it should be Ice-T. His Ice-T paved the way for all of you niggas. That's an honorable mention before I even get to my honorable mentions. Ice-T, throw him in heads. He don't got a number, but he in heads since I just thought about his name. And, but yeah, Ice Cube, he should be in here. You know what I mean? He, he, he responsible for some of the hits for N.W.A. And he's a West Coast legend. And he's a a great rapper, a great visionary, a great um, storyteller, a great spokesperson for what's going on in the world. So, shout out to Ice Cube. Scarface. Never seen a man cry till you seen a man die, man. Come on. Look, man. Scarface. Self legend. Because he wanted the people from the South that everybody fucked with. They gave a chance before, like, this was early in the day. New York motherfuckers wasn't giving nobody a chance. New York motherfuckers shitted on everybody if they wasn't from New York. West Coast came in. They started doing their thing, and they bullied. They were in the game, and then New York started fucking with them. But, the wet, the, but New York was not really fucking with nobody from down South. Scarface was one of the exceptions. They, man, people embraced Face. You feel me? People embraced Scarface. Scarface was the man. He, cause the, he said shit. He told you the stories. Like he, like vocal project, vocal projection, the, the subject matter. Scarface is a legend. Not only in Houston, but in the hip hop community, worldwide. Scarface, yeah. The brat. Motherfuckers like the brat. How the fuck you picked the brat on him? Yeah, I picked the brat on him because she the first female rapper to really go gold. Not gold, but platinum. I think she went diamond. I think she did. One of the first female rappers to do that. And the brat could rap. The brat could spit back in the day. So, I'm putting her on the list. And that's a hell of an accomplishment. That's a hell of an accomplishment. She need to be on this list. Big pun. Everybody know that's my favorite rapper. He going in there 
just because he going in there. That's my favorite rapper. Dead in the middle of Little Italy. Little did we know that we riddled some middlemen who didn't do diddly. Yeah, he going in there for that. Yes. 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 So I got to say my favorite rapper. I ain't got to say no more about pun. First Latin to go platinum. Yes. Barred up heavy. Barred up heavy. Buster. One of a kind. One of a kind. Can't nobody fuck with Buster. Very unique. Very unique, man. Can't nobody do it like Buster. Buster was very animated. Like I said, I'm not putting Buster on here because of the crazy lyrics, because the difference, the the, uh, the the uniqueness he brought to the game. You know what I mean? Like, it was wild. Like, we never seen no shit like Buster. The creativity. All of that. Everything. He's one of the greatest rappers ever. He's one of the greatest rappers ever. This one, I'm going to just put in there because people are going to be mad at me if I don't. I always said this. I'm not the best the, the motherfucking LL Cool J fan. I'm not. He got a couple songs that I like. And I'm going to respect him because he is one of the pioneers, the GOATs. And he from the 80s and all of that. And he got a whole lot of years in pitting in music and pitting in work. I just wasn't a big LL fan, so I I, I, I scores him in there. That was 20 right there. That was 20. Let me give y'all some five. Let me give y'all five honorable mentions. Tretch from Naughty by Nature. Tretch was like one of the first ones with that fast flow. All that type of shit. Yeah, Tretch was, Tretch was that. So all these motherfuckers that's doing that shit now with them little choppy, speeded up flows. Tretch was doing that first. You got it from Tretch. And if you didn't get it from Tretch, whoever the fuck the nigga was, you got it from, he got it from Tretch. Yeah. Black Thought. Legendary MC from the Roots. Legendary MC from the Roots. I never heard this man spit a whack verse. Never. Never. So, yeah. Like that. Slick Rick, greatest storyteller of all time. Flat out. Ghostface Killer, the best Wu member to me. Like, that shit changed over the years, but I've been listening. Ghostface is a great storyteller as well. Ghostface Killer. She shouldn't be in the honorable mentions. She should have been in the top 20, but she's damn sure in my top 50. And I'm thinking I should have replaced her with the brat. And I'm talking about none other than Missy Elliott. Come on, Missy Elliott, like, game changer. Game changer. Different, diverse, creative, and brought something to the table that nobody was doing. Like I said, I think her and Buster is rap twins because they just, they don't rap the same, but they in that same ballpark of weirdness. Buster then kind of stepped out his weirdness as he got older, but when he was younger, he was weirded out. Let me see. That's the it for my honorable five. <laughs> These are my future legends. Not legend, but because they're going to be legends. They're probably already legends. Let me not say that. Let me not down talk this shit. People who are going to be in, probably in my future top 20. These can, they got the potential to be in my future top 20. Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole. Lupe Fiasco and Royce to 5'9". Because as I can think of mainstream-wise, these are the only dudes who really like rapping, rapping like that. Everybody else making music. But who's rapping? Hip-hop fans gonna know what the fuck I'm talking about. But you little turn-up music listeners and all that, y'all ain't gonna know. Who's really rapping right now? Like rapping, rapping. Besides Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole... Lupe and Royce. These are your lyricists of today. Now, they keep on going and keep on making great shit, which I think Royce is on an amazing run. Like, because Royce right now, today, Royce is one of my favorite rappers. If not, he's my favorite alive rapper. Pun will be my favorite rapper of all time, but my favorite alive rapper right now was Royce. So... They got potential to be in my future top top 20 as the years go on. And they do some more work. They going to be in there because they, they definitely in the top 50. Matter of fact, them dudes is in the top 30 maybe. 
my top 35 rappers of all times. Yeah, that was my list, man. Top 20. I ain't tell y'all no numbers, no specific order. I said Pacific. It's specific. No specific order. That's just what it was. You either like my like, you either like my list or you don't. Comment down below, man. Let me know what your list is. If you think my list trash, hey, fuck you. You probably suck dick. But uh, it's all good though, man. But yeah, <laughs> no condoms media. It's your motherfucking boy, Ballhead Tay, man, a.k.a. Four Wings and Fries, man. Thanks for checking me out again. Please hit them likes. Please hit them subscribes. And once you hit the subscribes, please hit the notification bell because you can get this content so you can know, yo, my boy didn't drop this shit. Let me go check it out, man. Please. Please. Yeah. Please share and all that. Do all that. Do whatever you got to do, man. I'm out of this bitch. You already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah.